What's up guys? Welcome back to Night City. I'm your host Nyx and uh, today we gonna make a special video about a new build that I made. I talked about it in my videos I think in the um, playthrough, uh, Ricochet playthrough. Uh, but now it's time to show it. This is a total new approach, uh, combining um, Monowire and Berserk, as I said before. So no Thunder Vista, no crowd control, purely brute uh, damage, huge damage, and uh, also very important, uh, no crafting. So, yeah, you can make abstract of the legendary recipes because this character is not made from scratch. But this is the one that I would make. So you wouldn't have the legendary uh, um, specs unlocked. So you uh, would have been around epic. But you don't need it because I'm going to show why. So, uh, see? Um... This is uh, unlocked, but if we are looking at the uh, tech tree, we are only 8 crafting. So that's kind of almost nothing, just unlocking uh, true craftsman. craftsman. So at uh, level 7 crafting, we unlock crafting specs for epic weapons, combat gadgets and cyberware. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can craft epic because um, I'm going to show it right now. We are going to cyberware mods because this is where uh, we're going to see that. Uh, in this case, I'm using chain berserk. Uh, I can craft only common. I mean uncommon. Yeah, uncommon. Why? Because it says here you need level 9 crafting skill level provi uh, to provide uh, rare quality crafted item so um, as you can see reduce berserk cooldown uncommon version is only by 5.5 seconds which is kind of dumb because it kind of uh, doesn't show I think it's only five of course so this is first thing I want to point out so you're not crafting mods you're not crafting weapons you're not crafting armor so uh you might say well that's kind of you can you cannot do anything you're wrong and i'm gonna show why uh all the armor that you get uh to legendary you need to find it you cannot craft it as you can see this is in the night city you're gonna search for uh i mean this is the style that i took because it's a corpo yeah and i like kind of you can search for any legendary with uh, two slots. Usually, I recommend uh, recommend doing this at uh, above level 45 because you you will need a lot of crafting materials to upgrade it to max uh, defense. So yeah, this is kind of getting min maxed. Also, you can see that my armadillo mod is only uh, uncommon because I cannot. Uh, craft more than that. See? Uh, where is it? Street mod. Amadillo. Yeah. Because I need 9 to craft rare quality. Uh, also, it's not mandatory. Um, but you can find... It's not necessarily legendary. You can find the, uh, on vendors by... Uh, reloading 24 hours and uh, refreshing inventory you can find some very strong uh, let's see I'm level 50 now I can go to a merchant and find a uh, epic um, legend uh, epic um, out torso yeah all in torso uh, armor inner torso outer torso also look at this this is a uh, very strange. You usually cannot put uh, 
legendary mods in uncommon um, items. But this this was on sale. I just bought that. I, I was refreshing for style and stuff like that. And I, I bought this. So you can see it's an uncommon uh, with a crit chance legendary mod. Which is very, very strange. But also kind of okay for me. I was kind of lucky. I, I just ported around the vendors and uh, got this. Maybe you can just sit uh, on a vendor and refresh many times till you can get this. This is this is not possible. If I'm gonna craft an uh, um, uncommon, let's say, I don't care, whatever, this kind of PS, and try to put a legendary item in it, it won't let you. It says you cannot put uh, into uncommon. So yeah, you can get this only from vendors. Before the... Uh, clothing nerf, you could have find legendary mods on sale and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, this is uh, gathered from the Night City. This is kind of random. Just kind of stylish or something like that. Uh, we only have... Uh, uncommon mods. I didn't bother... You can find the different pieces of uh, armor, epic with uh, epic. I mean, maybe yeah, epic, even legendary uh, mods on them on sale. But uh, I don't have the time right now. You can do it. I mean, if you would start this character fresh from zero, you can hunt for very very good armor on vendors. Um, so that's my armor uh, kind of take on it. I did not craft this. I gathered it from the city, I only crafted the... Uh, even with, we're gonna see, even with uh, uncommon uh, mods, it's still pretty enough. Right now with rocking, look at that, 2k defense. And we don't have uh, legendary, because it's uh, only 55 defense per mod, legendary gives 75, so it's kinda... Eh. It's a difference about 200 per total, so not that uh, big of a difference. It can mean max, it can mean max, you can search and get even squeeze out more defense, more mods. But this is kind of very fast. You can do this very fast. You just stick with the uncommon, gather three pieces of uh, legendary from the world. It has to have, um, it has, uh, it needs to be uh, two slots, so that's the thing that you want. If you can get randomly with one piece of legendary armor, uh, armadillo in it, get it, doesn't matter, very good. It adds more defense, about 20, 50, maybe 100 more in total, but doesn't, doesn't matter. So that's the armor uh, uh, part of it. So you cannot craft it. You gather it. Uh, now let's go to the uh, to the cyberware. Cyberware. I mean, yeah. First, I just jumped the gun. So let's talk about the build. That's the first part. That, uh, the second part that I want to see uh, talk about. After that, we're gonna talk about uh, cyberware. So the build is 20 body, 20 reflexes, 8 tech, and 20 cool. Uh, any melee build that uh, you do without uh, Sand of Vistan and you don't take body, uh, you're just gonna get annihilated on very hard. I don't even wanna mention the crazy mod with vehicle uh, combat that I'm using with high uh, damage, reinforcements, level 4 threat, with huge number of enemies. That's another story. We're gonna showcase this right now. So that's the build. 20 body, uh, uh, 20 reflexes, 8 tech. This is kind of to have some more, you can see that uh, each uh, level increases armor by 1%. But uh, that's kind of trying not to get uh, one shot. It. But you're gonna see on uh, the showcase that this build is very, very high damage and you gotta be very, very aggressive. And I'm going to show that why very soon. 
uh, and also the classic cool. Let's uh, talk about body. The most important perks, which is why I, I went to 20 bodies to try to the, diminish the incoming damage. So this is mandatory steel shell. Um, even though you can say, yeah, with 2K you can get you can get much amplified, but I'm gonna take every uh, perk that gives me armor and uh, damage reduction, and uh, just because it adds, it doesn't one shot me. Maybe snipers, something like that on threat four, they can one shot me. But we're gonna have sub aware and we're gonna uh, recover from that. So this is important, also indestructible. That's why you are uh, kind of forced to get to 20 body, reduces only common damage by 10%. Even I, in my uh, build, um, Ricochet build, playthrough, you saw that I'm still getting damage. Uh, almost two shot it, one shot it at uh, above three, uh, level 3 threat with a mod. Uh, I'm talking, um, but I'm still taking this because it helps. Also, mandatory, of course, is still in Chrome. We got 20 melee. Very important. I took this. Getting hit does not interrupt health regeneration. It's kind of useless, but I took it anyway. I don't know why. You can use perk points in other place. Health, yes. I think this is a part of every melee mandatory that doesn't apply. Uh, that does, uh, does not imply uh, Sand of Easton. Because Sand of Easton is crowd control. You do not get hit. You always control the fight. All very rarely, if you spam and the Vistan get touched by any, by something, so then you can do something else. But in this case, I'm taking every HP bonus, every defense and damage reduction, and now from part of the build, of course, because we're melee, steel and chrome, 20% more damage. I took this as a passive regen. Out of combat, but you're gonna see it's not that important because I had some points. Marathon are very important because you, we're gonna run like hell, and uh, we we don't need to use stamina because we need that. Um, now let's move to the reflexes part. Reflexes part. We go into blades. Now here there are some core perk points. You see that I didn't took. Uh, all of them, because they're not all important, especially with mono wire, with uh, with katanas or knives. Yeah, for example, I did not took strong attacks because I don't need it. But with uh, katana, strong attacks uh, attacks uh, is a very strong passive damage, and added that with uh, Satori, you just do that 50k. 100k, 200k, I don't know what, uh, what's the damage these days with the uh, changes. I didn't play in a very long time with the uh, katanas. Anyway, very high damage. But as I said, I don't like katana because of uh, the fact that you need to be close. Let's continue. Uh, so, here is very important. The 100% against enemy with mass health. This is very, very important. Uh, Fiery Blast increases damage by 3% for every 1 HP of... The enemy is missing. Very strong. Uh, we took attack speed. 30%. We need attack speed. Uh, let's go continue with... Uh, of course, it's mandatory Blessed Blade. That extra 10% crit chance. That's passive. And you always have it. By the, uh, when you just pull out a blade. Is that mono wire or is it uh, katanas or knives? That's 10% crit chance and with the nerfs this is very 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 important um, dead bolt now this is the part which I need to emphasize and uh, say that this is this is damn important because this is what keeps you alive along with uh, another piece of cyberware which I'm gonna show right now after this so uh, this uh, defeating an enemy Restores 20% health and increases movement speed by 30% for 5 seconds. This is insane. Because with Monowire you can 2-3 shot enemies 
at one swing. So that's kind of makes you kind of immortal as long as you have enemies. So uh, uh, this is this is bread and butter. This is what keeps you alive. I think this is works with uh, with katanas and knives also, of course. But uh, with one overhead, this is kind of <laughs> dumb. But let's continue. Uh, slow and steady. This is for adding for that armor. Uh, so see that moving while wielding a blade increases armor by 30%. Well, that that's not not a, not a joke. 30%. Of course, does not scale that much. We're gonna see because we cannot uh, get still to that threshold. I I'm still wanted to. Uh, I, I'm gonna test to see with all the defense. All I don't know some kind of. I wanna see how much uh, armor can you get with a build. But I don't. I don't think it passes 3k with every uh, perk you get. I don't know. I feel I got that feeling. But this helps. So we're gonna keep it just in case uh, some kind of crazy situation happens in every fight. Of course, this helps. Um, also, Dragon Strike. Uh, we get we get 40% crit damage, just like that. Uh, so, only one point, one level, 40% crit uh, damage is more than enough. So from here, I wanna uh, accentuate that this this that bolt is very very important. Every uh, melee blade oriented uh, build. This is uh, bread and butter. Um, so let's continue. Tech is kind of... <laughs> we took it for some uh, bonus armor and we need to craft yeah, rare items uh, like pots and stuff like that. Uh, now let's get into cool. Uh, of course, I took the from the shadows that 20 extra percent crit chance for seven seconds at the start of the battle. That is because we want to kind of help uh, the first attacks uh, to almost crit every time um, because um, it uh, makes our um, cold blood. Yeah, add faster. Let's go back. From this, uh, we go to, of course, assassin. Assassin uh, deals 15% more damage to humans and enemies. So this is kind of universal. Every build you make, this is. I mean, I don't remember what uh, at what level in cool, but you can squeeze cool in every build because it's so damn good. And from here, another perk that will help us uh, stay alive, because we have no crowd control, you're gonna be surrounded by enemies, you're gonna see that. When your health drops below 50%, reduce all incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Cannot occur more, uh, cure more, occur more than once per minute. So that's an extra failsafe, less damage incoming, we need it. Now let's move to Cold Blood. Cold Blood is the same, very important Merciless. After I made my optimization and kind of tested with stuff, I need 67 points, as you can see, to always get that 100% uh, crit chance. I need that. We need that. So I said that uh, this is very important, and almost every build, if you can squeeze it, 100% crit chance is very, very strong in every build. Uh, I don't want to talk more about this. The rest is standard. You gotta have cool blood, uh, defeating, getting. You get uh, speed, movement speed, two percent. Stack up three times. Uh, stack, uh, stack stacks up uh, three times. So we're gonna get uh, uh, added to the other bonus perk. Of course, more uh, cold blood um, stacks. Of course, we need that removed one by one, not all at once. This is core. This is imp very important. Without this, there is no cold blood build. 
Uh, this is, of course, with 100% crit chance, of course, you need to take this, that 50-50 chance to apply uh, a stack of gold bolt because it's kind of the, the uh, um, attack speed is very high, so you're almost gonna allow, land a crit and al always gonna have max gold blood stacks. Another perk for damage reduction, of course, I said that in a, every, uh, another build, talked into my peripheral bodies. Duration, of course, 50%. Uh, headshot damage, I'm still testing with this. I'll, I have the points, so I'll take it. Uh, damage melee, 10%, of course, while uh, Cold Blood is active. And armor, 8% per stack. So, yeah. That adds two to that thirty percent, and so on, and so on. And in last, not last, <laughs> is the attack speed. We want attack speed. I want to swing that uh, mono wire like you know, a typhoon or something, very fast. So that's kind of the detailed kind of um, explanation of um, why and how. Um, let's move to the cyberware part. 20 body, 20 uh, reflexes. So, as you saw in the build, and I mentioned, in blades we took this, dead bolt, that gives us 30% movement spin for 5 seconds, we're kind of moving like a tornado instantly, teleporting all over. Uh, just running very fast with uh, cool blood and stuff like that, we're gonna see, we're gonna run around like a crazy but uh, the point that I want to say and I said that it's very important is that 20% health restore and uh, we go back to uh, cyberware you're gonna see this is a uh, has requirement of 18 uh, reflexes uh, instantly restores 10% after defeating an enemy so we have 40% uh, health uh, every time we kill an enemy so kinda beats the regen you know that regen that I'm trying to uh, get in my uh, ricochet build running around, jumping around this is kinda... you don't need to do that anymore we could... we almost... we don't need uh, max dog any kind because we got... You, uh, I'm gonna show uh, after this in the um, um, demo, you, you kind of regen 500 health or all your health in one swing. Imagine attacking two enemies at once because Monowire can do that. If they come together, they they kind of decimate it. Uh, so yeah, this is the very core. Except, uh, um, kind of, this is what keeps you alive along with Dead Bolt. So kind of armor it's irrelevant in the end. You just need that 2k, RAM 2k, that doesn't matter, 1.9k, 1 9, uh, under around 2k armor. Because uh, you just need to stay alive a fraction of a second to just decimate an enemy. And if you, even if you take the damage, your health almost instantly is just full again. So yeah, this is a very important part. This is, doesn't matter, uh, Kiroshi, that headshot damage, doesn't matter. That 2% adds, because I calculated around it, you can move around with perks. Uh, this is mandatory, of course, Bioconductor, this is very, very, very important. If, I mean, all my builds would have uh, Bioconductor, that's why I don't make a, I don't know, a, Netrunner build because you cannot take this most of the time. I mean, there, there are variation, but this is very good for all cyberware. Of course, our backup, second heart, and biomonitor, another backup. And uh, this applies to the, uh, these two also, of course, and the uh, operating system. Uh, inductor, of course, uh, I showcased it before when you get the uh, EMP or shot by electric bullets you get more defense 50% so this is crazy too 
The pen editor, we know that adds to the puck, indestructible, and uh, cold blood puck with damage reduction 5%, so it's around 25% damage reduction. These are kind of uh, reflex tuner, I mean, I didn't took this uh, to a legendary level for now because I didn't have time to search for it. Um, this is another backup, uh, slows times by 60%, um, when your health drops below 25%. The standard optical legendary camo on, on this character I had the uh, immunity to burn so I don't care about getting burned. I mean they don't have time to burn me anyway. Uh, the standard 300 defense legendary subdermal of course. Uh, l also of course I need to mention this skeleton. The bonus melee the 10% base damage of course adds to and it's gonna multiply very high. So you must have this. If you're doing melee, you need this. Uh, there are on vendors you can search on uh, um, on vi uh, videos and databases and stuff like that where you can find it. I don't know. I don't remember exactly right now. Um, I'm using Smart Link because um, I got this from the quest. You guys remember? With uh, Takemura, you go to Warasaka, and it's one of the in, in uh, one of the uh, chests. Uh, I did this very late, so I just uh, got it at level 50. It's maxed already. I don't have uh, a way to craft legendary, so these were were uh, bought from um, vendors. So yeah, I, sometimes you get uh, crunch uh, epic versions. That can be. Good, but th this is kind of a kind of situational in some missions when you're forced to attack from range and stuff like that, uh, drone chases, car chases, or stuff like that. You need some kind of a ranged. You can do that with any weapon. This that this kind of doesn't matter. But I I took that as a synergize as well with um, my Copo V. She's kind of mono wire, you know, from Johnny Mnemonic, and they use smart weapons, of course. Now let's back, uh, let's get back. Uh, yeah, mono wire. Mono wire, you get physical, of course. I got this, I don't know, I don't use it from a chest or something like that. I don't know why it's uh, epic. First time I saw it, I don't understand why. Doesn't matter. It says it's effective against a group of enemies, but uh, you don't need to poison and wait, of course. We, we just dismember. This is the one uh, that uh, is always used and keep this one. The rare version of physical damage, you don't need anything else. This is kind of medium capacity monowire battery. You, I got it from a vendor, I don't know why. I cannot craft it, I just bought it from a vendor. And uh, of course you get this from a, a dark uh, repo also uh, from uh, buying it. Because uh, they're on sale. So this adds... 20% crit damage. We're gonna stack crit damage because we always crit, so of course it adds to the high number ne uh, damage numbers. So um, let's go to the last part, which is Z attack Buzak. I said that before in the in my playthrough. I mentioned that this is the bread and butter. This is the lowest cooldown. Uh, Berserk you can find and uh, it also has the higher the highest melee damage bonus you see that it has 20% uh, melee damage uh, and increase armor by 10% duration 30 seconds cooldown 40 seconds uh, this uh, would it be nice if I could uh, got some legendary but you cannot because you need uh, crafting and we don't have crafting, but this can be bought from the Arroyo Dark uh, Reaper. It's in Arroyo in Santo Domingo. Um, and it's 6 seconds on a rare quality. Uh, the legendary one, it's 7 seconds. So you don't lose much. On this case, it's more than enough. It's around 3 seconds, sec uh, three second cooldown less. Uh, that's kind of 
the build explained not that deep but i think i made my point and i kind of showed stuff i'm not good with editing and stuff like that showing numbers on screen and stuff like that i don't have even the time um i don't have the time to learn to do that so yeah if if this build helps uh, help someone and my points help someone with the um, low um, uh, time span is good uh, so uh, that's the build uh, what I want to add yeah I have max dock that's the gear that's the cyberware So this is uh, the location, of course, you guys remember, it's Arasaka uh, port when uh, we had that encounter with uh, hot chick ninjas, office girls. So I'm back because I think uh, on this character I did not do this stuff, so it's still here. Look at that, they're here. So it's gonna be fun. So you guys, you better leave. Uh, let me do a hard save because I don't know how crazy things go let's go the question is look at that 41k first swing the problem is I don't know if they'll come on please call back up um See that? 100% crit chance. 307 crit damage. It can be higher with some kind of different weapons, different builds, but I like this because it just wipes out everything. I don't I'm curious about max like I did not test this before. This is the first time I'm I'm running this part. Uh how much damage can I do to one, uh, to max tech? Two shot it, one shot it and that with bonus HP. Come on. It's time. Come on out. I'm here. You're not in trouble. I'm not. Oh. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm kind of not that good anymore because I did not play this character in a long time, and I will. In the last fights, I only used remember from the. On my way. Oh, they cold. Cool, cool. Let's go, let's go. I want more. I only played with ranged weapons with uh, machine guns, some machine guns. So, oh, they coming, they coming. <coughs> oh, look at the chicks. The chicks are here. Hello there. Soldier KIA. Yeah, let's up. Uh, let's build some more. And I did not use any. Girl, what's up? Very cute. Look at the damage. Look at that HP. Like a vampire. Sucking them. Well. That's the hardest part. Now they're not coming. Really? Come on. Let me get outside. Maybe they're... Yeah, they're kind of... Yeah, they're coming. Oh, look at... Oh my god. That's a problem. That's a problem. Because, um... Oh, look. Oh my god, look at that guy. Uh, that's a problem because I cannot shoot the... I mean, I can shoot, but uh, it's not that good damage. Oops. Uh, civilians, sorry. Put her down. Hello! Hi! Keep up the Hi! You see that? My HP is kind of full! All the time! Jesus Christ. Of course I can be one-shotted as always! Ah, uh, th those guys above! That sucks! Yeah, I need to use the weapon, but... Keep shooting! Okay... It's kind of sucky, but... We work with what we have. She's a terrorist. And uh, the problem is they didn't call. 
Come on. Come, girl. You're alone. What the hell? I don't want to die just waiting for you guys to show up. Love that. I'm I'm uh, wasting my stacks, man. Yeah, whatever. I'm kind of sad about this. Uh, I need competition, man. Yeah, I got it. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, the damage is horrible. Yeah, I have no nothing spec in the. Uh, Come on! Reloading. What are you? They immune to? Oh my god! I don't like that. Reloading. Seriously. Okay. That sucked. Another extremist. Hmm. Come on! Enemy I'm here! I'm engaging! Yeah, we're exposed! Okay, cool, cool! Yeah. Finally! God damn it! Uh, Units down! Wasting my stacks, you know? Shoot. What you doing there? What you doing there? Are you up? I hate it. Oh my god, they, they're up there. Well. That's kind of the problem of the build. Sucks on ranged, but you people won't be this kind of a problem in no. a situation. Look at that. I like that. I like that. Go, go, go! Okay, let's go. It's time. Berserk is active. Yeah, the only problem is um. Uh, so I need to keep someone alive. To oh, um, there I don't think they called from up there because they kind of bugged. Hmm. Would you call? I would like max stack. Hmm. Well, that's kind of a bummer. But kind of demonstrates the the gist of it. Anyone here to suck his Don't life? Like this one bit. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. I need to get him down. Well, of course. That's kind of sucks. They don't miss. I do. Well, mm -hmm. let's do this. Yeah, being exposed. Yeah, this weapon ain't that great. I think I'm gonna look for another one. Hmm. Need a medic. Regroup. Yeah, get down. Well, if uh, they were down, they would be dead in uh, seconds, so... Well, let's finish the demo. Kind of scuffed, but that's how it is. You said that before. Extreme must be eradicated! I think it was uh, out of ranged. Okay, man. I'm all uh, prepared. Come on, Max Tech. Look at them. Trying to cheese me. 
Hi. Oh, you can. You can what? Civilians, why are you here? Calm down. That's a max stack. Threat lump level 4. Okay. Nice of you to run me over. Max stack, hi. Shit. <laughs> what can they do? When they come for you, nothing. Oh, look at that guy. What you doing there? Watch that! You don't need a medic. You need a mortician. I think I made my point. Oh, hello! Hello. So, uh, if the bug wouldn't happen and they would be on the ground, I could kill them. I mean, this works also with Santa Vista, but Santa Vista, you're kind of CCing them, crowd controlling them, but this is direct in their face. Yeah, they're all dead. I think. And uh, the problem is that I cannot keep my stacks because they're all dead or not coming, so. But we can manage. Oh shit! Yeah. Sorry that my demos are always scuff scuffed, but kind of adds charm to the build. <laughs> well, yeah. I like the civilians. They are so happy. Yeah, let's get back to our our little corner right here to the view so uh, yeah sadly kind of got scuffed but the point is uh, the damage output is very high and um, you are kind of unkillable if you if they are keep spamming you uh, next to you when uh, attacking you with melee weapons doesn't matter you'll just destroy them so this uh, keeps you alive and uh, of course, as I said, uh, from reflexes, uh, death bolt. Very important, this is what uh, maintains you, your health. Um, you don't need parts, stuff like that. And the mono wire is very strong by default, but I think this take from my part now is my... Uh, favorite uh, mono wire build um, this is, I think is gonna be the first one that I'm gonna do where, when uh, Phantom Liberty arrives they said that Phantom uh, Liberty will add more cyberware, modify cyberware, modify builds, I don't know we're gonna see but at least at this moment uh, this is the very fun so uh, if uh, you guys like it, I don't know for me, it's very, very fun. I like it very much. It beats uh, Sander Viston. Because Sander Viston, I mean, if they're uh, CC'd, what can they do? You have no uh, way of uh, uh, saying that they're strong or not. They cannot move. And you move around them and just pick them like a uh, wit. So, this is uh, a chance for them to fight. Uh, this, uh, of course, Mono Wire is very, very strong. Because of the AOE attacks and the fast attacks and the range. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to make um, this video about. I hope, I don't know, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, everyone has their tastes and um, different uh, view of things. But for, for me, at this point, right now, uh, it's very fun. And very strong. I don't think you can say this build is not strong. Monowire is strong, but this take is also very strong. So, um, yeah. I like Z-Attack, but as you saw, even without Z-Attack, I mean, even without Berserk, 
you still mm, do so much damage and uh, re uh, restore HP by killing them. So this is kind of a extra bonus, but you don't uh, have kind of mm, enemies to withstand that. I think I need to test this with max stack at uh, uh, max HP. Yeah, three. I don't know how much is that, but it was half. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it like this because I'm on the um, other build, so um, it's kind of balanced. I don't want to change because this applies to all my characters, so yeah. That's kind of it. So uh, uh, I want to add at the end because um, I always get attracted and um, forget. Uh, this uh, Bozok is um, spammable. Yeah, I got uh, <laughs> into all too many details and forgot to uh, accentuate this. So we spam this uh, with uh, even with uh, six seconds rare uh, iconic um, chain Buzok. That's 18 seconds reduction. So uh, added with a bioconductor, we get around eight seconds uh, window of cooldown, which is pretty good. Uh, so we spam it, we have 30 seconds, which is more than enough. Too bad we have no enemies right now, but damage is, uh, is exponential, way higher. Um, also, another little bit of mistakes, I always make them. My uh, problem is when I get sidetracked. So um, we have the... what is it? In Blades we have 20% uh, health uh, absorption, restore, uh, restores 20% health and um, we get from the Cyberware 10%, that's my correction, uh, it's 30% uh, health um, absorption and also um, we get the Bozok basic uh, defeating enemy restores 5%, so that's not 40% as I said, it's uh, 45, uh, 45%, so that's more than enough. Um, yeah, so um, that's kind of, I think, last moment things um, that I want to mention. It always slips my mind, but I think I now I touched uh, all the necessary stuff that matters. I talked about Dragon Strike. One point is more than enough for crit damage that adds. The rest is kind of touched. I don't think I need to say anything else. Uh, except for the scuffed uh, situation that arouses. But this is kind of one take. I could do more takes and um, do more tries. But um, the point goes through and uh, you guys see it. Look at that. Six, five, seven, four, three. Two, one, zero. Now we can spam it again. So yeah, it's uh, very spammable. If we had like uh, legendary, it would be three less seconds. So it would be around uh, five seconds cooldown between sessions of uh, Buzzard. But the benefits from the having max uh, reflexes and uh, body are way higher than just three seconds of uh, crafting because epic also has six seconds reduction so doesn't matter only legendary but the way it is right now in the uh, patch 1.61 we kinda very we uh, it's very hard to uh, make builds because of most of the builds require crafting legendary uh, you also need high defense uh, box and uh, good legendary um, tableware, so we need uh, at least 16 or 18 body. So it's very hard to make a all-around balanced, synergized build. Yeah, but um, I think that's kind of it. So. Um, 
we can end this. Um, also, I'll link below the details uh, in the character planner. But be aware that uh, in character planner we cannot go beyond 50 skill points, so you won't be able to add uh, above 50 points in Merciless. But you can make that in game, so don't worry about that. Yeah, so that's a kind of uh, almost complete build <laughs> video. Uh, it's my first uh, first video about the build, so yeah. Um, Thank you guys for watching, um, have fun with the game, and uh, see ya in the next uh, video, goodbye.